In chapter 2925, the complexities of deceit, jealousy, and familial bonds continue to unfold against the backdrop of a seemingly ordinary bookstore. Carrie, ensnared in a web of control and surveillance by Mr. Lab, finds herself in a tense situation as she reluctantly ends a brief phone call with him. His inquiries about her whereabouts and return time only exacerbate her sense of entrapment. Feeling suffocated, she decides to leave the bookstore, but her exit is overshadowed by the presence of Serenity, Cameron and Jasmine, each accompanied by attentive bodyguards. The stark contrast between her guarded life and the apparent freedom of the three young ladies intensifies her envy. Although she once had bodyguards of her own, theirs were indifferent and controlling, unlike the protective and respectful bodyguards that accompanied Serenity and her friends. This comparison stings Carrie deeply, highlighting her own lack of autonomy and freedom. Her thoughts then turn to her physical transformation. She believes that her new appearance, coupled with Cameron's compromised vision, will shield her from recognition. Cameron, once blind for a decade, has only recently regained partial sight, similar to someone with severe myopia. This gives Carrie a false sense of security as she approaches the checkout counter. Using her newly acquired voice-changing skills, she attempts to mask her identity further. She retrieves the set of information books, including the one she accidentally damaged, and approaches the counter with a practiced smile. Cameron, drawn by the familiarity of Carrie's figure and voice, closes the distance between them, scrutinizing her intently. Although she senses something familiar, Carrie's altered appearance and voice leave her uncertain. Serenity, unaware of the deeper connections, processes the transaction as Carrie pays for the books and exits the store. Outside, the lab family's bodyguards maintain their facade of respect, with one shielding Carrie from the raid with an umbrella and addressing her as madam. This display of deference is a sharp contrast to the control they exert over her behind closed doors. She silently endures this act, climbing into the car and leaving the bookstore behind. Cameron, still troubled by the encounter, steps outside to watch Carrie's departure. She questions the bodyguards about the identity of the woman, noting the respectful address of Mrs. given to her. The bodyguard confirms that the woman left in the car with her bodyguards, affirming Cameron's observation. This revelation adds to Cameron's confusion as the woman's youthfulness and the formal address suggests a different identity than that of her sister Carrie. The chapter further delves into Cameron's internal conflict. The figure and voice of the woman strongly resemble those of Carrie. Yet the circumstances and physical appearance do not align. This paradox leaves Cameron uneasy, unable to shake the feeling that the woman was indeed her sister. The young woman's age, similar to Carrie's, only deepens her suspicions. Serenity and Jasmine, sensing Cameron's distress, join her outside the bookstore. Serenity, sharing Cameron's uneasy familiarity with the woman, is equally perplexed. This shared sentiment of recognition without certainty creates a palpable tension among the three women.